All right, everybody, let's start on phase three, video three of this three-part series, Redline Childhood Collection Reveal. Now, I'm going to have to extend my work area a little bit. I think I'll just put these paper towels out here because I've got all these cars over here to add to the collection. It's about 67 cars altogether. So let's get started unwrapping and revealing each car and see what kind of treasures we've got. All right, number one of part three, Red Line Collection Reveal, is a sand crab. Sand crab in magenta. Sand crab in magenta. Nice base, nice wheels, a few stickers on it. They really got carried away with the stickers. Look at that, but look at that, it's in nice shape. It's got a few dings on the front, not too bad, a little dusty. We'll just wash that right up, it'll come out perfectly. Beautiful sand crab. I'm going to stick her way out here in the hinterland. All right, next one up is a big one. Big, big. Let's see. I feel a motor sticking out. I feel, I think, what? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. It's a Harry Holler missing the windshield. Oh, my goodness. I think I can replace that windshield with one from a lesser condition Harry Holler because this one is actually very nice and magenta with bright motors that is a nice one i bet i can find a not so nice harry holler to scavenge a window out of stick her right in there they just come in and out fairly easily next one up is hmm oh mantis i can feel it it's a mantis and oh this one's got somewhere on it must have been a favorite must have been a favorite got banged up a little bit got a cr crusty base but still got beautiful color on it. Look at that. The Mantis. The Mantis. All right. Next is, hmm, feeling it, feeling it. Oh, it's kind of, hmm, oh, whipped creamer. Oh, oh, whipped creamer. Look at that. Whipped creamer does not get its due because the whipped creamer can be beautiful. Look at that. That's a yellow. I just love yellow. Yellow is such a beautiful color really hard to find nice yellows this one is very nice just got a little dust on a little hair in there clean that up too bad the base is a little dull on the side there you could just hit that slightly with a little polishing i don't recommend it necessarily but you know when it's just a tiny bit here a tiny bit here a tiny bit there but i tell you what i had a purple one one time that was kind of dull on the sides and i wanted to polish it i put tape across here and then i polished that and when i took the tape off it took some paint off and that was not good Look at that. That's a pretty color. The whipped creamer can just show color so well. I'll definitely be doing a yellow video soon. I just want to show off yellow. Yellow is, you think hot pink is hard to collect. Yellow is worse. Look what we have here. Maserati Mistral. Is it Mistral or Mistral? What is it? What do you think? Leave a comment below. Beautiful shape. Orange. Look at that. Great shape, just got one little ding. That's where the hood, boom, hits that. That's why they always have a ding right there. But that light paint popping on the back there. Can you see it? Let's see, let's zoom in. All right, paint popping is because you got that sandy finish and then some of those dots of paint come off. I just call it paint popping. <clears throat> I'm trying to coin a phrase. All right. <clears throat> My voice is kind of messed up this morning. Hmm, hmm. We've got a, a yellow. It is a yellow peeping bomb. This one's a little dull on the chrome, but the paint is quite good. Light toning, I'd say wispy toning. Wispy toning, it is yellow, but as you can see, it's not brilliant like this whipped creamer. Look at that mirror finish on the whipped creamer. But it is yellow. Let's see if the headlights. Nope, no orange headlights. I guess, I'm not sure what the deal is on the orange headlights, but some of them have orange paint on the headlights there instead of the chrome. Don't know. I don't know what that's all about. Next one up. Oh, I was looking forward to this car. Orange Eldorado. Orange Eldorado. It's got a little spot right there. Is that a spot? Is that a ding? What is that? What is that? I guess it's a chip. A little rub. Not bad, though. Not bad. Wheels need to be straightened slightly, and that's going to make a beautiful display piece. Beautiful display piece. Orange Eldorado. Orange, you glad you've got an orange Eldorado. An orange AMX. 
Uh, another python, this time a light aqua or teal, depending on how you want to call it. Or is it chartreuse? I, I never, I don't know what that actually means, but it is a light aqua, sometimes called teal. Like, it's actually, well, you know what? This is more of a blue green. And this is more of a bluish blue green. I don't know. What do you think? Leave your comment below. Always interested in knowing what you think. As long as it's positive now, this is a family-friendly channel. Gray enamel Rolls-Royce. Gray enamel Rolls-Royce. Every collection seems to have one. What about all those other colors? Why in the world did they make lots of gray enamel and not lots of orange or lots of pinks? Hmm, lots of purples. What's the deal? Speaking of purple, here we've got splitting image in purple. That's pretty cool. This one has a dull base. It's so funny. There's just a handful of cars in this collection that have dull bases. Most of them are quite nice. What's the deal? What is the deal? As Jerry Seinfeld would say. What's the deal? What's that all about? And we have a Volkswagen in lime. 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 Pretty good shape. Volkswagens are so popular. So popular. I know when I was a kid, they were like, couldn't get enough of the little Volkswagens. Could not get enough of them. Oh, this is going fast. Oh, hey. Hey, now. Hey, now. Let's see. Oh, I got to check this out. That's a nice, for a copper Hong Kong, this one's nice. It is hard to get one that doesn't have, I mean, it's got a little wispy toning on top, but man, oh, man. I mean, they're always kind of messed up, basically, because they're Hong Kong. You know, you get a lot of weirdness going on there. They just didn't do the full Monty on these things. They didn't polish them right. They didn't make them out of the right metal. They just cut the price. They would cheap it. I don't know how to explain it exactly, but they never look like U.S. cars. Well, occasionally, but look at this one. This one, it's actually quite nice for a copper Hong Kong. You always want to temper your expectations when it comes to Hong Kong cars. Light my Firebird. Blue. Blue. Average condition. Average condition. Average. I would, you know, I'd have to say average. Good condition. Because obviously all the collections that I buy are going to be skewed towards the upper upper condition levels because I don't buy the ones that are all beat up. So everything I have is going to be anywhere from excellent to mint minus usually. And this one is gold, a satin gold. It's a 32 classic Vicky. You know, from a distance, you can't tell it has any wear on it, but you know, you look down in there, right there, all rubbed off. Uh, chippy on the hood on that, chip on there. You know, you got to look real close at these. Not for enjoyment's sake, but just for value's sake. You want to get the nicest cars that you can. Because if you ever need to sell them, then people are going to be looking very closely. Now, when you collect cars, when you sell cars or people are buying cars, they look this close. But then when you collect them, they look at them like this. And everything at this distance looks just fine. And every Hot Wheel is a joy to have. All right, two left. And then we'll review the collection. That's a big one. Oh, Seasider. Seasider. Man, I got a lot of Seasiders lately. This one is, whoa, this one, that front wheel needs to be tweaked. But um, this one is okay. It's a lime color. Got a lot of toning. These things tendly, generally do. It's funny how some have a dull base. It's almost as if they were kept in a different place. Like part of the collection in one place, part of the collection in another place. Sometimes that happens because it's like two brothers or a brother and a sister. And then later on the collections get combined. But they were just um, left in different places. If you have a high moisture in, in the air, you'll get that. Or if you touch them a lot with finger oil. And then the ones that don't get touched a lot will be like this. Shiny. Which is really odd because... The 68s in this collection are actually very good shape. Typically what happens in a childhood collection, and first of all, 
it's mostly these era of cars. It's mostly 68, 69s, and 70s that got saved. I don't know why. It's just people lost interest after that. So as, as you can see in this collection, there's like 171 here, the sugar caddy. And why there would only be 171, I don't think. Oh, and the Harry Holler. You see that a lot. 71. I think that's it. Just those two for 1971. Why did people stop collecting about 1971? And then 72, forget about it. 73, there's just none in childhood collections. And most of the later cars after this period got collected up by collectors in the late 70s, early 80s. And so they, all the cars from the period after the Spectre Flames pretty much just went into collectors' uh, collections. And you just don't see them in childhood collections. You just don't. I don't know why. Leave your comments below if you have any ideas why mostly childhood collections are 68, 69, and 70. All right, one last car. The Piece de Resistance, the number one car in the lot, as always, in any collection. This one right here, the holy grail of collecting your standard store issue red lines. What is that car? You probably know already. Here it is, and here it is. Olds 442. Olds 442. This one in the rose color. Olds 442. Of course, any collection that has an Olds 442, I'm going to have to have. This one has quite a stiff... I'm going to take this spoiler out. It's very stiff. Normally, um, original spoilers are quite soft. I'm not sure why this one is stiff. I'm not sure. I'll leave that in there for now. It's got a little bend in the middle of it for some reason. Yeah. Look at that. It's a nice shape. Look at that hood. It's pretty. Real clean, a wispy toning around the top there. Sides are pretty dark. It's definitely a nice car. Look at that. Olds 442. Of all the cars from, oh, by the way, it's a 71. So there are three 71s in this collection. Is that right? I think so. And this one is the gem of the collection, the Olds 442. Everyone loves the 442, and they're so hard to get. One reason is they just didn't make very many of them. The other reason is people who love 442s try to buy every one they can find. And this would be no exception. That's why I wanted this collection. It had an Olds 442. So let's rearrange and review the collection. All right, now let's take a look at the collection based on desirability. Now, when I look at a collection, there's all these cars to be had, all these cars to look at, but you really focus in on the best cars, the most desirable, the ones you want the most, and that for me would be the Olds 442. Got to have a 442. If there's a collection out there with a 442, I got to have that collection. The red Camaro. Camaro being the number one collectible Hot Wheel of all time, got to have that. Then I love sugar caddies, especially with the white interior. Beautiful. And then I saw that orange Eldorado, really wanted that. The orange AMX, I don't think I really looked at it that much, but it's really nice. The red, and that's kind of a light red. I'm not sure, sometimes people call it watermelon red. I have one already, this one is really nice too. And then the fleet side, that was a nice surprise because you never know, fleet sides are typically not in great shape and they're usually Hong Kong, which is nowhere near as nice as the US ones, but the US ones are so hard to get. Purple. Barracuda, yeah, definitely love Barracudas, purple, anything really is cool. Beach Bombs, you gotta have Beach Bombs, everybody loves them. And this Mustang was quite a nice surprise because it's uh, in really great shape for a Hong Kong car. And then over to the second row, heavyweights, gotta have heavyweights, they're so hard to get. They are so big and so fun to play with, they get beat up a lot. And purple again, purple, fire, let's see, in the race cars, the Ferrari and the Porsche are the most popular and of course purple Ferrari Hong Kong beautiful police cruiser never can have enough police cruisers they get beat up real easy custom T-Bird aqua it's kind of common but that one's really nice here we've got the um, Porsche 917 one of the most popular cars especially of 1970 model year and Nomad everybody loves Nomads Maserati Mistrals. Most collections don't have a Maserati Mistral. I don't know why. They seem to be quite hard to get back in the day. 
Boss Haas Mustang, gotta have those chrome Boss Hosses with stripes even. Purple, again, just love purple, so, you know, chaparral, anything. And then that's a nice surprise, that beautiful yellow whipped creamer. And, of course, the heavyweights, love those in any condition. These are exceptionally nice, really nice. Nice surprise here, the blue demon with a white interior, love that. Nice shape, nitty gritty kitty, although most of them are blue or aqua or green, but it's in very nice shape. Nice Maverick, love the Mavericks. And there's the pink Continental, beautiful, and Carabo. Hard to get Carabos these days. Back in that row there, we've got the Woody Wagon. That one had the weird fade on the one side. Green Coupe, always love those. Everybody loves these three, the classics. 30, let's see, 31 Woody, 32 Ford Vicky, it's over on the other side, and 36 Ford Coupe, and the 57 T-Bird. Silhouette from 68, nice to get that olive. Didn't really notice that one in the collection, but that's nice. Brown is a great color for the McLaren, and the teal for the Ford Mark IV. The red Firebird, that was not in very good shape, uh, but, you know, it's red Hong Kong, what are you going to do? Blue Python, nice. Purple Mercedes, nice. The Lime Volkswagen, got a few more over here that look real nice. Another Python, the Vicky, the Hot Heat, Light My Firebird, and the Lola GT70. There's the Seasider over there. And then in the last row, you've got the Commons. You've got the one missing the window there. That's the Harry Holler, 1971. You've got the Tri Baby, the Paddy Wagon, and the Red Baron. Most popular, most noticeable, or most known cars of all the Hot Wheels line. Jack Rabbit Special, Diora. Shelby Turbine, Lotus Turbine, Indy Eagle, Brabham Repco, a Purple Twin Mill, a Blue Terrero, tur Turbo Fire. There's actually no Torero in this collection. There is the Splitting Image, the Peeping Bomb, Sand Crab, Mantis, and the Rolls Royce. What a great collection. Thanks, everybody, for joining me on this three-part Redline Collection Childhood Collection Reveal my favorite hobby is buying childhood collections and revealing them to you. And then what happens to them after that? They go into a deep, dark hole. No, they don't. I keep some, sell some, trade some, and I just enjoy them. I love them. You love them. And uh, I love talking to you about them. I love making videos about them. So be sure to check out my videos. 600 videos for your watching pleasure. Going all the way back about eight or nine years. I've been doing this for a long time. And I love doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. Thanks for joining me. Leave your comments below. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.